Our next technique is scraping hooves. Scraping hooves is a defense against an attempted full Nelson. We're going to show you in the course of this what to do if they actually succeed in getting the full Nelson on you, but the technique is against an attempted full, most, attempted full Nelson. And what that means is we move when they try to get it on us. Uh, Carrie's going to come out so I can show you what an attempted full Nelson is. And what's happening is she's here and I come up underneath. Maybe I try to grab her, but she's, she's struggling, but my hands go underneath. I bring my hands up like this. You can see they're on the back of the head. And it can be done like this if I don't know what I'm doing. I can also go like this, and I can push down high on the head and get more leverage on the spine. Uh, go ahead and get away, Carrie. It's hard to get away from it. Meanwhile, I am putting a lot of stress on her neck. That's where we are on this. So that's what a full Nelson is. With an attempted full Nelson, obviously we'd rather not be in that position, although we're going to show you what to do if that happens. Um, but what's going to happen when they attempt the full Nelson is I'm going to go with it. This is called an energy gate or a invitational move. And what it means is they're pulling me and I go with them. Their hands come up, pulling my arms back, and I hit them in the face. That's what we're going to do. Or I poke them in the eyes, or I uh, slap them on the side of the head. In practice, I tend to bring my hands around like this and just touch the side of the head because I don't want to accidentally poke somebody in the eye. But they go to get the full Nelson on me, and I'm going to punch into the face. I'm going to drop, ripping their arms down. And as they come down, I'm going to slide this left foot back in and I'm going to punch down opposing forces. I'm going to get my hands and my head moving apart, and I'm going to break their nose with the back of my head. Again, punch, drop, break. You can see that my left foot moves, moves out. I start with my feet together, I punch, and as I drop, I step out with my left foot so I can get lower and get more marriage of gravity. Then my left foot slides in because I want height at this point. I want to catch them and break their nose with the back of my head. At that point, I turn. This is called a rear bow because I just rotated the hip. And what I do is I do a heel kick to the inside of the knee, a side kick to the inside of the knee, and then I turn and I stomp across the bridge of their foot. Then I'm going to turn, heel kick, side kick, stomp across the bridge of the foot, and then I'm going to step and I'm going to move out. That's what I'll do from there. So again, double punch drop, left foot slides in, and I break the nose with the back of my head. I'm trapping their arms under my arms right now. I do my rear bow, heel kick, side kick, scrape stomp. I have to turn this foot out. You'll see a lot of people do it like this, and they land in a horse. In the forms, we land in a horse. But in the technique, I want to stand, I want to land across the bridge of his foot and break his foot. So I scrape down, and as I do it, my foot rotates, kind of like a corkscrew motion going down. That breaks the foot, lands, lands across the top of the bridge of the foot. Again, one, two, three, rear bow, heel, side, scrape stomp. Rear bow, heel, side, scrape stomp, and I step out. Doing, done from this angle. Punch, drop, break the nose with the back of the head. Turn, heel, side, scrape stomp. Turn, heel, side, Scrape stomp, and I turn out. From this angle, punch, drop, break the nose with the back of my head. Turn, heel, side, scrape stomp. Turn, heel, side, scrape stomp. And from this angle, one, two, three. Rear bow, heel, side, scrape. Rear bow, heel, side, scrape. And I turn out. Done full speed before I do it on carry. I'm going to one, two, three, and I'm going to step up. Carrie's going to feed me. We'll feed from this angle first. Again, she's going for the attempted full Nelson, and I go with it, and I hit her in the face, drop, break the nose with the back of my hand. I turn and I do a heel, a side kick, and I stomp across the top of her foot. I turn, heel, side, straight stomp, and then whatever I want to do on the way up. Let's do it from this side. She goes for it, and I punch her in the face. I drop, and then I break the back of her. I break her nose with the back of my hand. Yes, that will work. This is very heavy bone. These are much lighter bones. You can break someone's nose or break cheekbones easily with the back of your skull. I turn, rear bow, heel side, scrape stomp. Turn, heel side, scrape stomp, and I turn out. Let's start from this angle one time. I punch, I drop, I break. Heel kick, scrape stomp, heel kick, scrape stomp. She winds out here, 
and then I move through. Okay, let's do it from this side. One, two, three. Heel side straight, heel side straight, and we turn up. Now again, that's against an attempted full Nelson. We saw a few minutes ago, uh, Carrie. So Carrie's going to get, I'm going to actually succeed. I go for it. She punches me in the face, but I'm whatever. I don't notice it. I'm used to getting punched in the face, so I get it. She doesn't go, and I wind up here. All right, now at this point, I'm putting a lot of strain on her neck. All right, Carrie's going to put the back of her right hand on her forehead, the back of her left hand on her forehead. And now I am cranking some power in there, and I cannot hurt her neck. And from here, she's now going to pull down and out with her right hand, with her right elbow, and just pull one. Now no, look at her left hand. Her left hand is still on her forehead, which means her, le her neck muscles and her left arm are stronger than my left arm. Now she's going to scrape my left arm down. Oh! And now she's going to do the rest of the technique. Right? So that's what we want to get. We want to have the idea that if you got it, if somebody actually succeeds in getting that full Nelson, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to pull, and then I'm going to pull. And I want to do one at the same time, because if we're here and I release both, I have a moment when it either works or my neck gets broken or, or seriously injured. So I want to make sure once I get to here and I feel safe, one arm, then the other arm, then we can go with the rest of the technique. We have to make sure we're safe before we move on to the next part of the technique. Uh, so, I'll do this one more time in the air. Scraping hooves. Punch, drop, break. Rear ball, heel side, scrape stomp. Rear ball, heel side, scrape stomp, and I turn. One other thing I want to bring up. Sometimes we have a few techniques where we do both sides. Reality, no, I'm not going to do this on someone. I'm not going to kick out both legs. Um, what I'm going to do, the, the technique just shows me both sides and has me practicing both sides. When we get to the extension, and I'll show it to you just so you can see how it makes a little bit of sense, I go here, 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 and I do my first kick, side kick, stomp, and then I sweep that leg back and I drive through and knock them on their back. That's the way it's going to work if I do this. Can you feed me for that, Carrie? Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and do that part of it just so you can see how this would really work. So she comes up and I hit, I drop, I break the nose. Heel, side, scrape. Then I sweep this leg back so that she's swept out and I knock her down. And then I kick and stomp and do a bunch more stuff. But you get an idea that scraping hooves, if we do that, is actually not a bad technique. But this motion here is having us practice those motions and they have to have us practice those motions on both sides. That is scraping hooves. Thank you.